ফার্স্ট ফরমোস্ট আমাদের ফার্স্ট গানটা যেটা হবে সেই গানটা আপনাদের সাথে করে আমাদের গেতে হবে কেন এই গানটা মোস্ট ট্র্যাডিশনাল সং এই গানটা সবার জন্য খুব সমাদৃত এবং সবাই পছন্দ করেন এবং আপনারা সবাই জানেন আর তোমরা ইয়াংরা প্লিজ আর ইউ লিসনিং অল দ্য ইয়াং গার্লস ইন দ্য বয়েজ ইউ হ্যাভ টু গিভ গিভ মি সাম সাপোর্ট টু ডোন্ট থিং আহ মাই গার এই রে কি বাজাই লরে কি গাই লরে না আমি তোমাদের চাই আর প্রথমে সবাই মিলে আমার জন্য একটা তালি দেন না একটা তালি দেন আরে দূর কিছু হলো না আবার ওয়ান থ্রি থ্রি গো মার্শাল্লাহ ট্যাক্সাসে কিন্তু যথেষ্ট পাওয়ার আছে আমি টু মিনিটস আই উইল সেট ইট আপ অ্যান্ড আই উইল রিকোয়েস্ট এভরি বডি সেট থাইট তুমি বসো খুব অসুবিধা হয় তারপরে আপনারা হাসতেছেন খুশি আছেন আমি হাওয়াকে বলে একটা আপনার জন্য একটা রবীন্দ্রসঙ্গীত গেবে কেন দেখি বাবা চলো দেখি খাওয়াই দেখ তাড়াতাড়ি 
Are they not ready? I guess they're not quite ready. Okay, guys. Go, go. I need to go. Okay, Thank you. 
things, appetizer are almost ready. So we'll announce it in a few minutes. I'm going to check it out. And I really thank you for your patience.
ومن آياته منامكم بالليل والنهار وابتغاؤكم وابتغاؤكم من فضله إن في ذلك لآيات لقوم يسمعون ومن آياته يريكم البرق خوفا وطمعا وينزل من السماء من السماء ماء فيحيي به الأرض بعد موتها إن في ذلك لآيات لقوم يعطلون ومن آياته أن تقوم السماء والأرض بأمره ثم إذا دعاكم دعوة من الأرض إذا أنتم تخرجون صدق الله العظيم MashaAllah, Farhan has recited very well. I will, be, I will now be reciting the, tr the translations to you. And of his signs is that he created you from dust. Then suddenly you were human beings dispersed throughout the earth. And of his signs is that he created for you from yourselves mates that you might find tranquility in them. And he placed between them affection and mercy. Indeed, in that are signs for a people who give thought. And of his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the diversity of your languages and your colors. Indeed, in that are signs for those of knowledge. And of his signs is your sleep by night and day, and your seeking of his bounty. Indeed, in that are signs for a people who listen. And of his signs is that he shows you the causing of fear and aspiration. And he sends down rain from the sky, by which he brings to life the earth after its lifelessness. Indeed, in that are signs for a people who use reason. And of his signs is that the heaven and earth remain by his command. Then, when he calls you with a single call from the earth, immediately you will come forth. Thank you. Thank you, Farhan and uh, Farzad. That was a very nice recitation. Oh, okay, it's making noise. Mm -mm. <laughs> Do you hear me? Okay, all right. Girls are guiding me. <laughs> uh, now I'd like to see, I'd like to uh, request uh, Hamim Rahman to be on the stage. Uh, Hamim would like to throw up some knowledgeful speech about Nika and the life for everybody. Hamim Rahman. Please, be on the stage, thanks. Assalamu uh, I wish I had knowledge to share. Uh, unfortunately, I don't. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam tasliman kathira. Alhamdulillah, it's a very joyous occasion to see all these uh, uh, wonderful people and um, obviously with the union of uh, Sazad and Tasneem. Um, I've known this name for many years. Uh, I actually grew up with her. Um, my sister and I have a seven-year gap. Me and this name only have uh, a year gap, so we, we, uh, she acted like an older sister figure for most of my life. Alhamdulillah, um, so it's, it's a great occasion to see her getting married to our beautiful brother, Sazant, and we welcome him to our crazy, large, colorful family. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Um, the bond of marriage is a very, uh, uh, it's a very, um, sacred bond that unfortunately today in our society we're we're seeing a denigration of the marriage um, as a sacred bond unfortunately alhamdulillah it's great to see young people getting married again myself getting married at 19 and i know some of my friends getting married 
quite early. So it's great to see uh, a push uh, to rejuvenate this sacred bond of marriage. Uh, in the Quran, uh, as our brother Farhan uh, recited not too long ago, the, the marriage is actually um, uh, understood as one of the signs of God, um, an ayat of Allah, which means it's a miracle, it's a miraculous occasion. So we're partaking in a miraculous union uh, between Tasneem and Sazad. And in the Quran, it actually gives us the recipe to the perfect marriage. Uh, when it says that a perfect marriage has both rahma and love. Uh, rahma is mercy and mawadda uh, is this love. Mercy is, unfortunately, in all uh, our culture today has been marginalized to be a very feminine uh, characteristic. But if you look traditionally within our tradition, uh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself was the mercy to all worlds. So the greatest man of all time uh, was known to be the mercy uh, to all creation. And so we need to uh, really rejuvenate this concept of mercy uh, going back to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself. Um, and so I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows them to have a very merciful, loving relationship between them two. Um, and, and, and at the end of the day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in many places within our tradition that it is the people that serve each other with mercy that will receive God's mercy on the day of judgment. So that's what we pray for at the end. And so I'd just like to conclude with three pieces of advice that uh, my many years of marriage has taught me, alhamdulillah. Um, so the first piece of advice is actually something me and Sadia heard, uh, I think a week before we got married. We were visiting a venue uh, to, to have our marriage ceremony at. And at that venue, this old lady came up to us and told us that, uh, so the first piece of advice is that never go to sleep angry at each other. These are very cliche, but I think they have a lot of uh, importance uh, if followed. Um, so never go to sleep angry. So I would recommend both of them never to sleep angry at each other. Uh, the Prophet himself saw so a man came to the Prophet and asked him for advice. Uh, the first uh, thing he said was that taghdab, don't get angry. And, uh, and uh, I even though that's a contextual uh, story, I think it has a lot of relevance and uh, importance in our daily life. So my first advice would be never go to sleep angry at each other. Um, and, and inshallah, well that that would allow Sazan to never have to sleep on the couch, uh, inshallah. The second piece of advice uh, is that every day you should have a, a way of earning each other again. I think too many times in marriages, uh, people sign the contract and they feel like they have each other. It's a done deal. I think it's important to every day to win each other over again. And it doesn't have to be something big like a ceremony like this or flowers. or It could just be a simple text or a simple smile or a simple I love you or something like this to just win each other over every day and earn each other every day. Uh, inshallah, that will increase your love uh, exponentially throughout the years. And the last piece of advice, and in my opinion, the most important advice, is to never lose perspective of the end. Uh, all of this is the means to a greater end. Uh, I have no doubt in my heart um, that, that at the end of the day, all of this has meaning, even the very mundane things we do, like getting married uh, or, or having kids or uh, j just like every small little thing that we have uh, or do in this world, it has a purpose. And inshallah, uh, we should never lose a scope or perspective of that. And inshallah, that's what I pray for them to never lose perspective, to always be smiling. This team is so happy today. Inshallah, she's always happy like this. Sazad is kind of nervous and happy at the same time. So hopefully they stay that way, um, inshallah, the rest of their lives. And I pray that Allah blesses them and gives them mercy between their uh, relationships and muwadda. Uh, and, and all the happiness in the world, inshallah. And I'd just like to conclude by saying that, uh, inshallah, there'll be a larger dua at the end, but my teacher has taught me that for the blessing of this marriage, for the blessing of this gathering, for the blessing of all of our relatives and our own personal marriages and our own personal relationships, to recite one fatiha for them, inshallah, uh, together. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillahi rabbin alameen, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم نسأل توفيق وتيسير والحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم Thanks Amin that was well said, thanks. Uh, I actually missed one thing right out of the Maghrib to thank you, Alam Chachu. Thank you, Alam Chachu, for leading the Maghrib prayer. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, 
we do our uh, gratefulness to Almighty Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. I would like to call, I would like to call bride's parents on the stage now. Morning, bye and happy apple. Morning, bye and happy apple. Please, I request you to be on the stage. Morning, bye. Morning, bye and happy apple. Please be on the stage. I'd like to request bride's parents to be on the stage now. I do see happy apple is walking towards the stage, but and she's still looking for. Money by, uh, money by. Where are you? All right. I know we are, we are very close by the dinner time, and we're almost ready. We're very much committed to serve you a very hot, delicious, sizzling dinner to you guys. So please allow us a couple of more minutes. Within ten minutes, the dinner will be ready to be served. I know it's nine thirty almost uh, uh, past standard dinner time, but it's Sunday, and I'm pretty sure all of you slept pretty well until twelve p.m. today. Monibai, can I be? Can I get you and Happy Apple on the stage, please? Where is Happy Apple? Happy Apple, please. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Okay, first of all, uh, Assalamu Alaikum, everybody. Uh, how are you, everyone? Alhamdulillah, okay. Uh, you know, I'm not a public speaker, so please forgive me, okay? And the first thing, thank you, everyone, to come over here, especially the people from other outside of, uh, even outside of the country. Uh, my brother-in-law, he came from Canada, thank you so much. My some other relatives came from other state, from Florida, from New York, from, Can uh, from Connecticut. So you guys, thank you so much for your time, and I really appreciate it. And please make dua for her and for my uh, uh, son-in-law. And uh, uh, that's all I can say. And inshallah, all make pray for her and for my uh, son-in-law. And we'll make sure that you know, uh, this is for my daughter and my <laughs> uh, Sajjad. Okay. Uh, the one thing I want to tell you, I tell you all the time. Uh, this is our from Hadid. Control your tongue to be happy and sacrifice each of every day for each other. That's the main thing, to be a happy, a happy couple. Okay, again, thank you so much for being here, and please enjoy the dinner and make dua for my uh, new couple. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Sorry again, I was nervous. Well, anyway, not at all. You did very good. Trust me, without a script. Anyway, thank you so much. Thanks. I'd like to request right now, yes, it's, uh, it's kind of, I understand, I really, really do realize and feel Sajjad's pain, not being with his family. Uh, trust me, Sajjad, trust me, I really feel that. But yes, we are your family now, so you're part of the family, so don't feel you're all by yourself, okay? We are the family now. So don't meet your parents, although it doesn't matter how many times I say, you'll keep missing them. But on behalf of, on behalf of Sajjad, on behalf of Groom, I'd like to request, they're the only one family who is representing grooms. They're actually Sajjad uh, Kazin. Mr. and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Faraz, can I please, can we please have you on the stage, both of you? Mr. and Mrs. Faraz, can you please have both of you on the stage to say something to the bride and groom and today's audience, the guests, and this Shandar evening? Please give them a big hand, Mr. and Mrs. Faraz. They're the only one, they're the, they're the only one family representing grooms in this evening today. Thanks. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, again, I'm not a uh, public speaker like Mr. Ronnie. He's one of the best speaker, looks like. Uh, uh, he's my cousin, uh, but I would say, like, say, he's my younger brother, actually. Like, say, when I was uh, graduated, he was grade four student, so just my brother, actually. Like, say, we are a same family, so. His, his father and my father only two brothers from, like, say, from our side, actually, from our big family. So I, I would not say he's my cousin, he's my younger brother, and this is a big occasion for him. I prayed, actually, a lot for him that, like, say, he gets somebody, one of the best, and I think he got it. And I prayed to Allah 
almost every day, last few days, that like say, this occasion, I'm waiting for this occasion. We drove from Phoenix, uh, around 1,000 miles, and um, just with him, very one of the best day. And um, again, like say, I pray to Allah right now, actually, that like say, in future and every day, like say, they will understand each other and this is a, this is another journey for them and so it's a lot of sacrifice i hope they will understand each other and they sacrifice from both sides and they live happily that's it actually like say i prayed to allah again and uh, i wish them happy Assalamu alaikum everybody. Uh, Ode dujon ke dekhe bhali lagche. Tomade jatra shubhuk. Aar ito sharakon hashi kushi thakbe itai kaun aar ki. Thank you. Well said. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Farah. Thanks a lot. Thanks for your time. Okay. I'd like to request right now, uh, there are a couple of more respected people from Tasnim's family are here in this evening. Uh, one is uh, Tasnim's one and only Chacha. Tasnim's one and only Chacha, Mojibur Bhai. Mojibur Bhai, stage action. Then Tasnim's two other mama, they're already here, they're also here too. Kausar Mama and Koka Mama. I would like to see all three of them on the stage, but uh, Kausar Mama will say something on behalf of all three of them on the stage for everybody, okay? Thank you so much. Uh, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum to all of you. Um, I am Tasnim's uncle, and there is my brother, and here is uh, Tasnim's chacha, another uncle. What I want to say is that I cannot say anything because after uh, Hamim's uh, speech, after Hamim's speech, all the, all I want to say is ditto, whatever he says, amen. <laughs> and w one. One thing I just want to mention, I know that uh, the Tasnim uh, uh, from uh, since she was, uh, I, I missed her first few months and then afterwards uh, then we, we took a trip to California and she came to visit us in Virginia and I know we have many stories. I don't want to share all of those and bore you to death about, uh, uh, on that, but I want to say one thing, one story about Sajjad, how I, how I came to know him. He came to study at our university and on the first day someone was supposed to pick him up from the airport and that, that person was unable to pick him up and it was on my shoulder. So I went to pick him up from the airport. He came, stayed with me that night because my family was away. They were not here, they were out of the country. We had dinner. And then I put him to his bed, to his room. Next morning, I heard some knocks from the door. And he was knocking furiously. Get me out of here. I said, what happened? And what happened is that my door, in, the, in, in, in winter it shrinks, it's summer, uh, in the summer it expands. So it got stuck. And he did not know that. that the, he thought I, I, I locked him, locked himself, him in. And he said, get me out of here. Somebody come and rescue me. <laughs> and Sajjad is here and we are very proud to have him in our family. May Allah bless this couple and, uh, and may Allah bless them forever. Amen. Thank you for all. Thank you all for coming over here and attending this joyous ceremony. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, Kalsha Mama, Koka Mama, and uh, Mojur Bhai. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. We're almost ready. Okay.
Now, I'd like, to, I'd, li I'd like to ask one question. During uh, two years before, two years back, we had Hamim's wedding. And, uh, and during Hamim's wedding, one, somebody, somebody owned jackpot prize. That was a car. I would like to see whether the person is here still tonight or not. Is there anybody who owned the jackpot prize, a car from Hamim's wedding? It was your brother? Uh, your father? Okay, man. Right, you're all over. Thanks. <laughs> Brave. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> So do, you, so do you want to win something this evening or what? Yes? You want to win something? All right. The winning part, the winning part will come right after dinner party, okay? I'm sorry. I really don't, I really don't mean to be uh, last, uh, during last evening, last time when we have a Hamim's program, the reason why I'm bringing those reference, because uh, people are expecting that I, it was a real car. Uh, not really. That was not a real car. It's kind of show. Now, let's drag the time. Let's kill the time a little bit. I'd like to thank, I'd like to thank on behalf of Tuslim and Sajjad, the couple of very special people who had endless contribution in this entire program. Starting from Guy Holud on uh, the gold program, the wedding program, the reception, um, all those, every, everything, even the bridal shower, right? So I'd like to thank those characters by name because all the such a beautiful girls are sitting right in front of me kind of stop myself from taking their name. Number one, Heather, thank you so much. Sonia, thank you so much. Rumaisa, Lamia, Sulma, Samira. Hey, come on, girls, raise your hand. At least so people know who I'm talking about. One second, I'm starting. Heather, raise your hand. Sonia, Rumaisa, Lamia. Lamia is Tasnim's sister. Sil Silma, Samira. Zainab, no, okay, Karim's wife. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Sadia, well, Mission for us, everybody knows. Then uh, Shurubi auntie, uh, please raise your hand. Uncle uh, Bhaiya, please raise your hand. And uh, I don't see, I don't see everybody up there. Okay, thank you so much. Sami and Tashfia, where are you, Sami and Tashfia? It's right, they're on that side. Their contribution was endless. And Okay, there's an important announcement. There's an important announcement. For some reason, the burner wasn't working, and the cook just said dinner is not ready yet. Dinner will not be served before 12 a.m. I'm sorry to say that. Once again, important announcement. The burner wasn't working, and the cook said dinner is not ready yet. Okay, does anybody have a laptop right now? We just need a help due to technical reason. Does anybody have a laptop who can help us? Is anybody carrying a laptop right now in this program? Are you all set? Are you all set? Okay, good. I was done. Thanks. Uh, there had some technical issues. Okay, let's say, let's start greeting everybody once again. Would like to would like to thank uh, some of the special uh, some of the special friends, and I actually I would like to pass the microphone to Tasneem and Sajad. They definitely have somebody in their mind to thank by themselves. Obviously, uh, please. I wonder the the whole way will come all the way out here. By the way, the beautiful lady is there. She's my wife. Please give her a big hand. Thank you. <laughs> I, never, I never miss the credit. I never miss the credit of being with my wife. It's been a 10 years. Thank you. Tasnim, please. Why me first? Ladies first. I don't want to be blamed. Ladies first. Okay, first of all, I want to say salam to everybody, so assalamualaikum. And I, there are too many people to list out to thank, but of course my parents um, have been, I mean, it's undescribable how much they've been helping me. And I didn't know they were going to make me speak today, so now I'm going to start crying. Come on, take care of your makeup. Pay a lot of money for your makeup. Come on. <laughs> that was almost $500 to spend on makeups. Come on. Okay, Sajad, go ahead. You take over. Uh, okay, assalamu alaikum to, to everyone. Um, I really want to thank uh, my parents, uh, my cousin, and also Tasnim's family, all of the members. Uh, Actually, it was a very uh, good uh, uh, 
very good work. I mean, um, so I mean, thanks to everyone. Whoever come here, comes here, thanks to everyone. Hey, uh, do you want to cry too? No, I share. So you're happy to get Tass name, right? You're happy to get Tass name. So come on, man, say Tass name. I love you. Come on. Tass name, uh, I love you. There you go. Bless them. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Bless them. Bless them. This is the this is the most blessing even ever in the uh, everybody's life, every man and woman's life. Trust me. There are a couple of things I always say should be uh, always one way entry. Love is such a kind of thing in, the, in terms of relationship. I always tell my wife these things. Hey, my son, my brother, my father, my brother, my sister, I all have blood connection with them. No matter, regardless, whatever I say, I can never refuse a relationship because that's something made by Allah. Something made by the nature, it's a bond of your blood. But a relationship between husband and wife, it's just how much you understand, how much you sacrifice. I understand you might be a good, you might be a good wife. Or I might be a bad husband. But if I want to love you, if I want to be a good husband, if I want to be a good husband, let me make the way you want. That's how it is life about. The sacrifice between husband and wife, okay? We always say, we always say that it's her fault, my fault, whose fault, whatever. Nobody's above the fault. Nobody's above the fault. But how much we are ready, how much you're accepting, how much you're understanding to each other. Okay, that is a relationship. This is a kind of two-party deal. A man and women agree to live under the same roof forever, forever and forever. My wife, my wife has been, my wife has been with me almost like half of her age. She has been with me, and uh, inshallah, if Allah, if Allah subhanahu wa taala gave us hundred years of hayat, in a hundred years, we will live. She will be living more than she was with her parents. Come on, Batan Jaju, how long do you want me to drag this stage? Because the dinner is not ready, come on. I've been, I already told so many things which was not on the script. You understand that, right? Oh, no, patience, 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 come on. The patient, I understand, but it's already uh, 9.45. 10 more minutes? Well, here's the deal, here's the deal. This person, half an hour before, told me 10 more minutes. Excuse me. Okay, good. We should have a little bit of twist in the program. Uh, right now, we're going to have Heather and Sonia on the stage to say something for the bride and the groom. Heather and Sonia, give them a big hand, please. Thank you. Hello. All right. Okay, we're going to try to give really quick speeches because I'm hungry and I know you're hungry. Um, and I wrote it on my phone. So if I start crying or if I pause, I'm sorry in advance. Hold this for me. Okay, um, I've been thinking about this day and the sweating and how special it is to have. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay, I can't look at you. <laughs> okay, and um, I didn't really know how I was going to start the speech or what I was going to put in the speech. At first, I thought I could start off with something embarrassing like the time she started crying at her Mendy when the girls finished their dances and completely caught everyone off guard, or the time we saw a bug at a restaurant and she climbed over the table and onto the next booth, or any time I mentioned KK, she burst into an uncontrollable laughter. Um, inside joke, sorry. Um, but when it came down to what I really wanted to share with everyone is that I have never met anyone as unique as her. She's the person that can line up a room whenever she enters a room just by opening up her arms and saying, hello, the party can now begin. I'm so grateful that I've been so lucky to find someone as amazing as she, and I will never find anyone with so many weird quirks as her. She's an absolutely amazing human being and simply one of a kind. Congratulations on your special day. I love you so much. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Kemonasu. Okay, so I'm not Bengali, but after being from the Tasneem for two and a half years, I really wish I was. Um, her mom calls me a temporary resident at her house. Okay, so mine's is a tad bit longer than Heather's. I'm sorry. I, you know, I talk when I get nervous. So, 
The first time I met Tasneem was at UTD, and I had just gotten a job at the activity center, and she was already working there. And the first time I laid eyes on her was when my boss had asked her to train me, and I'm not gonna lie, she scared, she scared me a lot. And the main reason why, the first thing she said was, why do I have to train another new person? And so it wasn't a smile, I know, hey, you know, I'm ready to train you. Um, until this day, I'm still scared of Tasneem, but it's a good thing because out of all my friends, she's very honest with me. She tells me what I need to know. FYI, she stole all my sweatpants and still has them. And I absolutely love her for that. After that day of meeting her, I didn't know what it was, but I just wanted to be her friend. But she just seemed very unapproachable. Then one day while we were at work, this one girl came up to me and said, hey, Taz wants to see you in the restroom. And I got internally very excited because I was like, oh my gosh, Taz wants to see me. I feel really cool out of all the people that were there. And so when I got to the restroom, she was sitting on a bench with tears trickling down her face. And I don't know what came over me, but all I wanted to do was help her at that time and hurt whoever or whatever it was that made her cry. And she had hurt her foot really badly. And I, I, took off, I took off her shoes and put ice and she asked me a question. She was like, hey, I'm sorry, does my feet smell? And I lied to her that day and said it doesn't, but it smelled. <laughs> <laughs> um, after this incident, we started getting closer and I started to feel cooler because now I was in the, the cool kids group at work. In just a couple months, we became best friends and every day, I thank all the beings in the world for bringing Taz into my life. I couldn't have asked for anyone else other than her. She's unique in many ways. She's beautiful, she's stunning, sweet, caring, friendly, spontaneous, very blunt, and my personal favorite, very artistic. More than anything, she's my best friend, Midi John. So Zad, I know this amazing woman is yours and I know you'll take care of her and buy her all the expensive purses and shoes that she needs. <laughs> Don't take her away from us for too long because I'm pretty sure in the past couple of days you, you, you've noticed the 10 girls that are buzzing around her the whole time, so you'll have to answer to us. <laughs> I love you with all my heart, Tasneem, and congratulations to the both of you and may Allah shower blessings upon the future that you two will have together. I love you. Thank you, Heather and Sonia. Thank you so much. That was a very lovely and uh, emotional and touchy speech. Thanks. I know you, got, you will be missing her a lot. All right. We are here now. The most awaited time, the dinner time. The, the dinner lounge is ready. Now, we are ready to serve dinner to you. Please go and enjoy your meal. But once again, just to remind you, male, please use that door. And all female and la ladies, please use the pink and the silver peach pink and the silver door, please. On the right hand side, off my right hand side line is for ladies and the left hand side for gents. Please, go and enjoy your meal. We'll all be back here 10.15. We'll start our next program. And the very, the most attraction is a video and the projection presentation. Thank you. Enjoy your meal.
That is, you guys are done. Thank you so much. All right, sir, you're up. Come on down. It's full of love. Once upon a time in the land of far, far away. Once upon a time, yes. The memories, the sweet memories. The memories of friends, the memories of family, the memories of brothers, memories of fightings, memories of, memories of making friendship, memories of uh, jumping from the wall, jumping in the water, whatever. So now, in this projected presentation, Samia and Tashvia, the two, the two little kid sisters put a lot of time and energy, their endless contribution towards the project. And now I'm going to hand over the microphone to Samia and Tashvia to say something towards you and to share their feelings and thoughts behind this presentation. Thank you. Before we start, um, I wrote this on my phone, so yeah, can get a little emotional, but it's okay. So it's finally here, Dalkin's wedding. I still remember the day Dalkin told us she was getting married. We were all in legit shock for about a minute before we started congratulating her. And I'm not sure, but I bet we went to IHOP right after. But even though I was in shock then. You'd think I would, it would have sunk in by now, but I'm still shocked to see you looking so beautiful on the stage right now. Not shocked that you're looking beautiful, I mean, you're always beautiful, but yeah. Just shocked that it's actually your wedding. It's just surreal. I still remember the first time you came to Bangladesh after we went. You brought me and Samhya letters, and to this day, I have those letters. They're still folded all cutely, and I still have no idea how to make those weird folds that you know how to do. Uh, those letters are just a small example to show you the type of person you are. You always, always make sure to do things personally. You make people feel special to show how your love in a way that leaves people absolutely in awe and shock because they would never expect somebody to care so much or remember the little details the way you do. We love you so, so, so much, and I wish I would have been able to commit as much time and effort to helping as I would have liked, but here's just a small token of our love to you, and it really isn't much, but I hope you enjoy it. I love you, and finally, Joel is a teach on the
nobody should know. But when everybody watches this video, I'll be crazy mad. What you may call it. <laughs> I love the dust I miss it. Like haunted dead body parts underneath my bed. Yeah, thanks. 60% Sasunoku. All the kids. Um, she used to boss everyone around because she was the oldest one. And she used to like them to see Ibrahim for the first time. So she obviously has never been to Ohio. She's never been to my apartment before, but everyone else has. <laughs> So we start off writing this one note to each other, like on one sheet of paper, and then I think after a couple of months, it's very new chapter in your life. We all know what you've done for me. So what happened was, asking that she's gonna have a job at the end of school, because she knew I was like, oh, wait, why not? So then I was like, I have to say something, like, why I'm there. So I'm like, oh, for someone like me, I don't care anymore at all, really. So, and she didn't make me stand there. I miss her a lot, but luckily, we oh, not that far. I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying right now. Stay closer. Stay closer. Please set it up. I need you guys in the middle. Hi, how's 
Okay. So everybody looking at them. Everybody looking at them. Best part of the night. Best moment. <laughs> okay, everybody, say yeah! To hit the Jannah to me. Do you want to chair? No, I'm good. Okay, everybody look right in this camera, right here. Him, him, not me, him. Here you go, on the count of three. Three, two, and one. One more. Three, two, and one. Now I want everybody to scream as loud as you can and just throw your hands up. All right, and go one, two, three. Woo! We did it! No, 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 no. We're gonna pray Isha together in that room where we prayed Margaret. So whoever wants to join us uh, can join us as well. Something. I was trying to take a like, yeah, but I saw him come out of this camera. I was like, I'm here. Was it back then? No, I never saw it. Hey, mom, got it. So I knew he was freaking out. I always wanted to put it on your show. Me? Right there? He said, Wow, I'm ready. I didn't think that was going to be one, two, three. You saw what you did. You saw what you did. I didn't think that was going to be no, we have a button to get on Nice, there you go. Three, two, and one. Alright, uh, do the same thing now. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so let's get all the girls outside. Huh? That's just, I think, 30 seconds. Uh, I mean, yeah. Hey. Thank you. Where's your sister? They're outside. We're not carrying that out? Nick. Yeah. I need you to help me. Come here. Yeah. So what? How are you gonna like move? Well, I'll probably take it back. Well, there's five of us here. Are they, are they like on the stairs? Yeah, don't hide them until they're by the door. Yeah, you Make some noise. 